Hello, and welcome to this reading guide for section 2.8, Graphical Analysis of One-Dimensional Motion in the OpenStax textbook. The chapter begins with a discussion on slopes and general relationships of linear graphs. This section should be reviewed for most of you, but if it's not, give it a good solid read and brush up. The section then moves on to a discussion of motion with constant velocity, zero acceleration. That's what is mostly discussed on page 70 here. Make sure you understand all of the different features in this figure 2.47. Example 2.17 is a nice example of how to measure average velocity from a distance versus time graph. You'll have some of these in your homework problems. After this, the section, the book, after this section, the book then moves on to graphs of motion with a constant but non-zero acceleration. With three examples of graphs, displacement, velocity, and acceleration for the same motion on page 72. And then it goes through and discusses how these different graphs are connected to one another. Example 2.18 discusses how to measure instantaneous velocity from the slope at a point. And we see that the slope of a position versus on page 74, we see that the slope of a velocity versus time graph is in fact the acceleration. Finally, the section moves into graphs of motion where the acceleration is not constant. So here we have a set of examples of an object moving with some non-constant acceleration and the related velocity and displacement graphs. What do I hope that you get out of this section is the understanding that you can move from displacement to velocity to acceleration using slope and from acceleration to velocity to displacement using areas of graphs. This fits with our goal of the course of that we can represent physics ideas in multiple representations. We will be exploring how to make these graphs from stories in class. This concludes this video.